party. I should be back, but I'm frozen. I can't see myself talking. Am I on? It lags for a second, so you have to give me a minute. Go live. We're going to have to do something with that. Uh, I've gone live, but I'm frozen. Go live. Video has been interrupted. It should resume shortly is what it's telling me on my end. <sighs> Um, well, I don't get it. And still go live. Uh, I guess it's not going live. What's happening? It says I'm live, but I'm frozen. So I don't know. Everything on my end says your your video has end, ended. Live, or do you want to put out a message saying, "Hey guys, sorry, this is where we're it's, at." It says I'm back on. Can we get back on live? We've got another half hour for the show. Here we go. It's um, Something's coming in. I see you and hear you. <laughs> something's right I see you and hear you. No, oh, I don't know what to say, Michelle. Am I live? This is a new one for me. Um... No, no, no. Yes, you're back live. Am I? I am. You are back live. Well, uh, I'm frozen on my end. So, can you? Am I live? Can you hear me say that? Well, I hear you because I'm seeing you. Yeah. Here, well, but... actually, um, I've got we've got questions coming in, so I've no idea why I'm frozen. Is there anything I should be doing to unfreeze? I don't know. All right, so I am going to presume, even though I can't see me anymore because I'm frozen. Can you hear me? Can you see me saying all of this? There's loads and loads of questions coming in. They're all coming in. Clicking on. Go live. All right. I don't get it. Yeah, you're back on. You're not frozen on their end. Everybody says that they can hear you. They can see you. Okay. All right. Let's see how it goes then. So, um, so I think I was talking about uh, COVID, and I was thinking I was driving along on a really, really busy road the other day, yesterday actually, and uh, there was a bike. Uh, going along uh, this one of those bikes that you sort of you lay down so there's this guy laid on his bike pe with pedals and he's going along the road on this really really busy road let me tell you cars whizzing by so on and so forth and there he was the side of the road uh, trotting along on his bike wearing a mask hello first of all he's by himself there's no social distancing I mean he's by himself He's in the fresh air. He has more chance, a thousand percent, more than a thousand percent more chance of getting killed on the road with this heavy traffic coming back and forth for him than ever he does of catching COVID. So I don't quite know why I was wearing his math mask. Can we just let's apply some common sense to this, everybody? So, yes, I think it's uh, pretty safe to, to send your kids uh, Back to school. That's my answer. Moving on. Let's have another question. 
Okay, well, guys, if you could, could you please resubmit your questions? Because I've lost all of the transcripts from before. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. We've got, I've got a whole pile of stuff going on here. But anyway, <laughs> if you could, I'm still frozen. Can you see me saying I'm yeah. still frozen? Well, I no, can't you're, see. You're I, not frozen I, at all on my end. I can't see me. So anyway, could you please submit, resubmit your questions? I'm so, 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 so sorry. It's a good thing you all love me, and it's a good so thing sorry. we all love you, and it's a good thing Michelle loves me. Otherwise, we'd have quit. Right. <laughs> uh, if anybody is thinking of using Ready? Messenger or sending messages, sending messages, emailing, anything, don't do it until we've done this show. I thought I'd switched everything off. Well, I blocked him anyway, so he can't message us oh, anymore well, at this point. We'll have to unblock it. We'll, we'll unblock we'll, it yeah. afterwards, but right now. We'll All right. Have. So are there more questions coming in then? Um, has, everybody, right now, has everybody given up on, on us? Because I can see stuff coming in. There's a lot of... Oh, you're back. I can hear you. I can see you. <laughs> um, that the the spirits are playing with the feed. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's just I didn't do something that I should have done to block this. All right, let's, yeah, do we have anything it's, it's going just, on? Well, I don't have any questions. Do you want to give another short story while we try to get some questions? No, do I want to give another short story? Oh, there is so so many short stories uh i could tell you the story of the little man sitting on the front of my car as i was driving and i could tell you the story of um when um a gray eagle said to me it was a winter's day and i needed to get someplace and the snow and the ice on the roads and everybody was being told don't go on the roads unless you absolutely have to uh, truthfully it wasn't emergency i didn't actually absolutely have to but i really 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 wanted to and i said to gray eagle will it be okay will i be okay he said to me you'll get there and you'll get back i did get there and i did get back what happened in between is a whole other story i'm not telling it today <laughs> but, well we've got some questions pop but up there are so but there are so many uh, travel stories. There are so many stories that happen when you're in a car or on a train. There are so many of these things that go on. All of them fascinating. Let's get back to I'm so, so sorry, everybody. Uh, let's get back to the questions, shall we? Um, Bill said that he loved the story, the first story, that it reminds me of how you how you guys met in New York City on that rainy summer day. Hi, Bill. I'm coming the, to New York next week. Woohoo! Get hold of me. We'll meet for lunch. On your way to, to see Joni E. Yeah. And my grandmother did the umbrella trick. <laughs> yes, she did. I'm always <laughs> amazed by that, as you said. You know, there are no coincidences in the Bill story. is one of those. It was absolutely pouring with rain. I was trying to dodge. I was trying to stay underneath one of the overhangs on one of the big buildings in New York, trying not to get wet. And all of a sudden I had to dash out. And all of a sudden there was an angel standing right in front of me. Right, Bill? You were my angel for the day with a nice big umbrella and you were so sweet. Right, moving on. <laughs> um, Amy is on this morning. Hi, darling. Hi, Amy. She said, good morning, beautiful souls. Could you please offer some guidance for the next part of my journey? Uh, no, uh, except apparently yes. Great, he has his hand on my shoulder, so there you are. Apparently yes. Here is your guidance, which is in in this. Amy, you're so it's so hard for you to do what it is that you want to do because you're always trying to think of the best for other people as well. But Greg, this is the message that he gives to you, which is to follow your heart. Don't be afraid to be selfish with what it is that you want to do. What you've always wanted to do, he tells me, but you've always been too nervous or too afraid. It might mean that you have to change your whole way of life, but just do it anyway, because that's where your happiness lies. Next question. Let's keep them coming. Dina said, good morning. Good morning, Dina. I recently had some health problems. Do you see any future reoccurrences? Um, you know what we're going to do, Dina? We're going to put you on our healing list and send you healing on a daily 
basis and if you could email me rosemary at rosemaryaltair.com from time to time and just let me know how you're doing um you know you have to be really really careful now as we all do don't put junk food in your mouth in any way shape or form don't do stuff that sort of can wreck your body don't be excessive in anything just be sensible and uh, careful but if you email me i shall know better and to try and help you out as much as i can but in the meantime i'm going to send a healing all right yeah maggie morning maggie says it's chaos here lately any chance it will settle down and <laughs> ask my mom when is my need only one coming uh well maggie when you start to put yourself first uh, th then then things will get better for you and it's so hard isn't it for those of us who we do care about other people and we do want to make sure that other people are happy in in you know in our lives we do the best we can for everybody else but we have to sometimes be doing the best for ourselves as well because if we're happy and if we're contented and if we're a little bit selfish with ourselves then we're much nicer much happier and much better for everybody around us that's my advice to you young lady yes keep going ivy is on this morning morning ivy and she says morning rosemary it's very bizarre i was thinking this morning I was thinking this morning of when will you tell a Hong Kong story? Do people in the spirit world get nervous sending love and blessings? Oh, yes. Um, you know, very often when somebody comes to me from the spirit world, it could be that they've done something that they feel that their family might feel, you know, angry towards them. It could be that they've, I've never done this before and I really, really want to do it and I desperately want to do it so they'll understand it really is me. So there's that nervousness about wanting to do something, you know, properly and correctly. Uh, you know, there's, there are a lot of reasons why um, people in the spirit world get would get nervous. So, yes, you know, and the, and the young man tapping me on the shoulder and continually tapping me on the shoulder, as I told the story this morning, over and over again, continually, continually tapping me on the shoulder, really and truly, he was just nervous that I wouldn't talk to his brother and his mother uh, so he kept just tap tap tapping and making a real pest of himself a real nuisance of himself which I was really pleased about but at least let me get some sleep before you start on me all right I just want to say a shout out I don't know if Reese is watching but I think he's Reese is uh, I haven't seen that they're on or not he, he said he was going to watch today because he wanted to know what happens on the plane Mosey so now he knows okay so keep going um brandy is on randy randy morning randy and she says hi hi rosemary my son has been very salty towards me how do i handle this salty as in attitude attitudinal uh right uh he's probably at that age oh boy um well, I remember a time when Samantha was the perfect child and she was the perfect child until she was 17 years old when two things happened. She had a fabulous new girlfriend who uh, we found out was not so fabulous, but she influenced my daughter tremendously. But she also had a first serious boyfriend as well. And those two things combined, oh boy, oh boy, my perfect child went from perfect to nightmare. Um, I think that the only way that you can deal with them is to be firm, to be consistent in your discipline, you know, to, to uh, insist that you have, that they give you respect. And if they don't give you respect, there have to be consequences to bad behavior. It could be no TV for a week. But, but please, if you say to your kids, no TV for a week, it means, it doesn't mean after three days you get fed up or you get lazy or you get bored it means if you said a week you stick to the week so you've got to be firm in your discipline and you've got to be consistent and so on but you know i always used to say to my daughter and i've sometimes occasionally say it to her still i'll put my arms around her and say i don't like you very much right now but i still do love you so you know the what is it called the uh, the uh, the iron fist in the velvet glove there let's hope it works my love keep going michelle 
Um, Maggie is asking Gray Eagle if he's going to keep you safe and healthy on your trip. And he yes. She said shaking the mom finger at you. Yes, yes, yes. I should be fine. I should be fine. I would not put myself in danger. I'm not going to put myself in a situation where, you know, where I'm no good for my daughter and for my grandson. I'm going to be very sensible about the whole thing. Keep going. Um, we have Dean on. Good morning, Dean. Different Dean. <laughs> but he says, hi, Rosemary. Hi. Is my mom around me? Um, well, Dean, it would be so easy for me to say, yes, of course she is. Because it would be such a clear answer, wouldn't it? But yes, of course she is. Because I really believe that she is. So please, 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 you know, listen to her, talk to her, listen to her. And uh, that, that goes for every one of us who has someone in the spirit world who we love and who we care about. Of course they're watching. Of course they're with us because, you know, they love us. They're not going to just disappear on us and leave us to our own devices. That's for absolute sure. So, Dean, just please understand. No, absolutely. I think, I think you're actually asking me the question. You want confirmation, but I think you know that she really is anyway. Yep. All right. Jan is on. Morning, Jan. And says, can a message be given in a dream? A friend of mine passed in January, and one night I saw a handwritten message like a letter. And it said, Dear Jan, I can't see you, but I can hear you. Oh, brilliant. How lovely for you. And yes, our loved ones come to us very often in our dream state. Uh, very often we might see them or hear them in, in that sort of, you know, when we're in that half awake, half sleep state. But our loved ones, when we're in that dream state, when we have no barriers, we're not, you know, we're sort of, we're open and uh, in, a, in a weird way, paying attention in a way that we don't when we're fully conscious. Uh, this is when our loved ones, uh, you know, do their very best to connect with us. And this is when we are able to sense them, to see them, to feel them and so on. And, you know, so many of us, we have that, you know, that experience of we see someone or we feel someone, we have a dream, and you wake up and you say, gosh, I had a dream that my father came to visit me. And, uh, and, and you know, it was, and it was so vivid. It was so real. And then you said, no, oh, it was only a dream. But it was so real. But it was only a dream, but it was so real. Then when you know it's real, you know, your soul is trying to say to you, it, actually, it, it's real. So, Jan, fantastic, absolutely. Embrace your friend, embrace the message. You know, you've had a very special gift there. How wonderful for you. Keep going, Michelle. All right, so the next one is from Rebecca. She says, hi, M Michelle and Rosemary. Thanks for your channel. Would it be all right to ask if Gregel has any advice for me? Please and thank you. And who is this? Rebecca. Rebecca, listen, Rebecca, you can ask me anything you like. And it's always all right. As long as you ask in a respectful and a, and a, and a healthy way, we don't want people on this uh, show who, uh, who are you know, mean or just want to disrupt. But Rebecca, I'm asking Gregor, as I was talking to you just then, I was listening to Gregor at the same time. And he, he tells me that you will be fine. You've got a little hurdle to overcome, I do believe. Are you nervous about this little hurdle? But the way he's talking about it is just a little hurdle. Uh, you know, life sends us hurdles. Life sends us trials, Rebecca, that you are very strong inside. You need to believe in yourself and you'll be fine, my love. Yeah, keep going. All right. This next one's kind of a lengthy one. so Okay, go for it. Tara is on. Morning, Tara. She said, long story short, my brother passed in 2002. I dreamed of him at the foot of my bed, tickling my left foot. He had asked if I would name my son after him, and I laughed and said, I'm not pregnant. And he Aww. said, yes, you are. And then when I woke up, found out that day I was actually pregnant. Oh, fabulous. It turns out I conceived him on my brother's birthday, and I went into labor a year to the date that he passed. It scared me, so I had them stop my contractions, Aww. and I had him two days later. Okay. When he was handed to me, I saw my brother in his eyes. I've often wondered if he came back through my son, except all my children I've had since then. I've, 
I always see him first in the moment when they hand it. Yeah, it's not, you you know, people think, oh, you know, this is this is my child that I lost and this is sort of like a reincarnation thing and it isn't that at all my lovely uh Tara what it is is that your brother obviously you're, you're very close your brother is so wanting to let you know that he's so close to you and what you're seeing when you see him in your children is you're seeing his beautiful energy and he's trying to let you know I'm here with these children I'm keeping them safe uh, I'd love to know if you did actually name your son after your brother. I think I might know the answer to that one. And good for you. And I think that you, I think you have a fantastic and a very special brother. And how fantastic that he came and brought that message to you. Wow, are you? You know, you know how many people are listening to this and thinking, well, that never happened to me. What can I do for that to happen to me? So you were given such a wonderful gift from your brother and uh, wow, good for you. All right, keep going. Chiara's on. Chiara, good morning. And she says, good morning. I'm writing from Italy. My mother died last month and I would so like to receive uh, some message from her. I know that she wants to talk to me, but I'm not able to hear her. She's had so many of your books and today I'm watching your video. I believe everything happens for a reason. I hope you could help. <laughs> well, Chiara, um, thank you for reading the books and uh, and all of that stuff. And thank you for joining us on the show today. It's lovely to have all of you here. I, I get so excited when we see people from, from all over the world coming on to these, to, to these things. Um, I'm asking Grey Eagle because, again, you know, you said, I don't hear her, but if you go back on the show and look back and I talked to somebody about sitting for 10 minutes and just giving time to the spirit world without asking anything, without pushing, without saying, give me a sign or show me, show me, you're not sitting for that 10 minutes because of what you want from them. Please just sit with them because you just want to be with them and to join your energy with theirs. And that's the, that's the only thing that you should be doing. Um, I can tell you from Grey Eagle, she is, she is absolutely fine uh, with you always and always. I don't know why it's too always, but with you always and always. Uh, so I hope that that uh, settles you and makes you feel a little bit better. But please, if you want to connect with her, take that 10 minutes of every day. Don't ask questions. Keep quiet. Just tell them I'm here for you. And then just wait and be patient and wait and see. Keep going, Michelle. Isabella's on. Good morning, Isabella. She says, good morning. I write from Italy. My grandmother died many years ago. Her name was Lena. I wish, no, if she thinks that my boyfriend is actually good for me. Mm. If you're having to ask, uh, although I can understand why you would ask your grandmother, uh, but uh, I'm not going to, uh, although I actually can see a lovely lady as I'm talking to you, I can actually see a lovely lady. She's, she's very fierce looking. She's one of those, you know, sort of tough on the outside and mushy chocolate on the inside. So I know that she has your best interests at heart, my darling. Um, pay attention. Um, stop doing everything that he wants uh, to do. Uh, start to be yourself. Um, you know, sort of, uh, it, it should be a partnership. It shouldn't be all or nothing at all, you know. Uh, be a partnership and, uh, and you know, assert yourself a little bit more. Um, you know, it's all very well. When we have relationships, and especially in the beginning, what we want to do is we just want to please the other person. Sometimes pleasing the other person, we think that that means that we shouldn't be, uh, if you know, if this guy likes football and we don't, let's pretend that we like football as well because that'll please him don't do that because sooner or later you're going to actually turn around and say god i hate football and he's going to be thinking who is this person <laughs> she told me she liked football how do i know her who is who is she be yourself in all relationships and uh, i'm sure it's going to work out keep going michelle okay isabella does have she would like to know if you know of any healers in italy uh, not in Italy. Or I, if there's a school in Italy that teaches healing. No, I don't. 
I don't, unfortunately, Isabella. But if you want to know more about healing, if you'd like healing for yourself, you can actually, we are having seminars with our first one. We're hoping to start off in October. We're going to be having seminars about healing, about mediumship, about self-worth. We're going to do all sorts of things we're going to be talking about. Uh, but our first uh, online seminar is going to be in October. So if you'd like to know more about that, again, email us rosemary at rosemaryaltair.com and we'll let you know what we're up to. In the meantime, uh, we do take classes. If you want to put your name down for classes or for the seminars, again, write to us. At that address, rosemary at rosemaryaltair.com, we'll put your name in a little, in a you know, little folder. And as soon as we are, we have a date and everything is set. You'll be the first to know. If you want to be on our mailing list, um, you have to request. Do not expect, please, that we'll automatically put you on if you email us. You have to request being on our mailing list. If you request it, we shall put you on our mailing list and then you'll be notified of anything and everything that we're doing. Next. You missed one thing. Uh, I did? What yes. did I miss? If you want a consultation, email us. Oh, I'm not there yet. Oh. Yes, if you want a consultation. <laughs> You're doing everything else. Okay. Doing if you want time. a consultation, if you'd like healing, if you want to know more about our books, if you want to know more about our guided meditations, if you want to know more about anything at all to do with me, uh, make sure that you put your your sort of the subject you're interested in uh, in the subject line so Michelle can sort of organize things. If you want to just know everything, you can put everything in the subject line. We'll know what you mean. And then just email us and uh, we'll let you have the information. We, we're getting so many so so many people requesting consultations and so you know if you could just put consultations in the subject line then we know to to deal with that in a certain way and so on and so forth keep going michelle okay the last question i'm seeing is from peace and i do remember that she did write out her is this? name her, her username is peace peace okay but she did write out her name i believe it was on thursday show but we never got to her question oh, okay go that. for it then it says hi rosemary thank you for your support to us my husband left me and i don't know whether he's coming back or just left me destitute why don't i ever see past on loved ones no matter how much i cry well, it's probably because you're you're upset, and it's probably because you're you're trying so hard to be, you know, to be whatever you think somebody else wants you to be. That was your mistake with your husband. Now, listen. Here is a message to you from Grey Eagle. This is your time. This is your opportunity. This is your time to fly. You don't need people who don't value you. You really don't. And if you were to fly and to just take off and to stop relying on other people, rely on your own self, you're a beautiful person, Re rely on your own self and be brave. And yes, it's scary out there being there myself. I know, oh, the amount of times I had my husband back, three times I took him back and three times it was a big mistake. But, you know, we don't know till we know, do we? And uh, uh, it's, it's tough to get there. Um, but honestly, you know, Sometimes, once a thing is broken, it's not fixable. Other times, something's broken and it is fixable. In your case, my lovely, I think that, you know, you are the one who is broken. You are fixable, but only if you fly and you move away from your past and head towards your future. And if you do that with confidence, we'll help you. We'll send you healing every day. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. So let go of your past and fly to your future. Uh, as Greg says to, to tell you, you have wings. Use them. Keep going. Anything else? Do we have anything else? We are so, 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 so sorry we lost everybody before. And uh, we're so, 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 so sorry we lost all of the questions and all of that stuff going on. Uh, please forgive us. We are going to persevere with this because we love doing it. We are going to persevere with the streaming. We do not know how come the messages kept going, coming in and disrupting, but we will know better. We're, we're, we're working on it, right, Michelle? We are working on it. <laughs> so. um, Elizabeth is on. Good morning, Elizabeth. And she says, hi, everybody. 
She'd like to know who could be her angel. Is it a relative or a different spirit? I it's, wish it were my grandmother, Hannah. Uh, it, I, it, you took, took the words out of my mouth. Yes, it is a relative. Uh, I do, um, Grego is indicating that there is a lovely, lovely lady next to you who is absolutely your angel, but she was your angel in life as well as she is now. And I want, don't want to say in death because I don't believe in death and dying, but you know what I mean. But So she is still your angel. So you are absolutely right. Go with your gut feelings in these situations. You know that she's your angel, and I'm confirming it for you. Yeah. This is the last one that I see. Okay. It says, hi, Rosemary. I'm in my last year of high school. Any advice for the future in picking what you want to pursue? It's from Sheila. Yes, good morning, Sheila. Um, and, uh, you know, there still is time for other people to ask questions if you hurry up and get on with it so you can ask as many questions as you like. But, Sheila, let me see. Um, all right. You know, uh, so often, uh, and especially when we're young, and you are a young little thing, aren't you? Uh, so often when we're young, we, we do need help and advice from those who are older than us. But um, you'll have a feeling at some point, there'll be something within you. Your soul will be telling you uh, what it is you want to do and where it is you want to go and, you know, the, the kind of work that you would like to do. I am told Gregel is telling me that you're a healer. So I don't know if you have any sense of either working with people in a caring situation. That could mean doctor, nurse, uh, caregiver, could, could mean a lot of things. Uh, but working with people and in the care of people or with animals, because apparently you, you do have healing hands, my darling. So. Uh, Listen to your soul. Listen to what. It, listen to uh, that little voice that is inside of you, and be guided by that. Your your friends, your parents, your elders, your betters can help you. They can guide you, but don't be swayed uh, by what you're actually feeling inside. Because I think, as a healer, as a potential healer, you will have a sense of knowing what it is that you really want to do. Yeah. Okay, Laura Lee said, Morning, Laura Lee. I would love to hear any messages from Grey Eagle, especially about, especially as I'm about to launch my business around plant medicine. Oh. I've also finally met someone that feels like they could be my life partner. Uh -oh. Could you give me any insights on this? Go for it. He's telling me to tell you just go for it because you've waited a long time, Laura Lee, haven't you, to do this? to do what it is that you really want to do. And I can understand from what Gregor tells me that you're very nervous about it. Will it work? Won't it work? What shall I do? How shall I do it? He's so excited for you because finally you're following your heart. And I think it's such a good thing that you've come on immediately after Sheila because I was saying to Sheila, follow your heart. And here you are finally. It's taken you a while, hasn't it? But finally you are following your heart. And when you follow your heart, that means that you're going to put your heart and soul into a, uh, into a thing. That's when things work for us. That's when if we stay enthusiastic about things, that's when things work for us. Uh, it's easy perhaps for me to say because I'm very lucky because, uh, you know, I'm as excited and uh, thrilled and amazed, uh, really amazed every day by what I do. So, um, you know, so I'm, I'm never worried about finding the enthusiasm. There's never a day goes by when I think, oh, I don't really want to do this today. Uh, I can't wait to do what I do and I, I feel so blessed. Uh, but, uh, you know, people think, oh, I, I, she's been doing it for so many years. She must get really, you know, there are no new questions. Yeah, there are. Every day there are new questions. Every day there are new experiences. And every day I get excited to talk to those in the spirit world. And I get excited when I give messages to those of you, those of us who are still on this earth. But I get so excited to be able to bring the two worlds together. It's so if you can, you know, find something that gives you joy and uh, Laura Lee, you've found it, move on. And uh, as for the relationships, go for it. That's what Craig is telling you. Just keep going, going, going for it. Yeah. 
Okay, so we have Blanca on. Morning, Blanca. And she says, is there any comments or advice for me? Just in general, I thought, why not ask? Thank you. Always a true pleasure to watch um, you, Rosemary, and hear Gray Eagle. Much and, love. And you're right, Blanca. Why not ask? Why would you sit there wanting to ask and absolutely not ask? So, mm, so uh, this is... This is a, you're going to probably say, if, if you don't understand what I'm saying to you, Blanca, this is going to be very weird. But when I was, when you were, uh, Michelle was reading out your uh, question, uh, I was listening to Grey Eagle and I understand you're having some issues with your mouth or I don't know if it's your mouth or your teeth and you really need to, you know, do something to get stuff fixed. Uh uh, nothing to worry about, nothing serious, but I think it's a way of those in the spirit world who are connected to you just to let you know that they can see you. They can see what's up with you and uh, go go get it sorted out. I don't know what it is. I'm not being told exactly what it is, but it's something about your your mouth and whatever. So uh, uh, go get it fixed. Just a little detail there. Do you think I'm really weird, Blanca? Do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> Keep going, Michelle. I can see things keep coming in, and uh, I'm going to take a couple more. Um, Miss Alice, please rewrite your question. We may have lost it in the other news feed. So, Miss Alice, we, we, we. I think we were cut off at least twice. It's been weird. So, uh, please, yeah. So, please rewrite the question so quickly, though, so that we can answer it for you. Um, Alina said, "Hi, Rosemary. I'm from Italy. My Good mom morning. passed three years ago." I still feel like the first day. We always see you on video and every time we couldn't stop crying, so touched. I'd like to know if you can feel her and if she has a message for me. What's the name of this person? Elena. Elena. Um, <laughs> I can tell you that right now, according to Grey Eagle, and he's always writing these things, um, uh, she's stroking your face even as I'm talking to you, sending lots of love and kisses. Uh, you know that she's there with you. You know, I always, as a, as a mother myself, I know that when it's my time to go, my daughter's going to be devastated. Uh, because there's a mother-daughter thing that sometimes goes on. I never had it with my mother, but if you're close to your mother, it's got to be one of the most painful losses um but she's trying to let, and again i'm told she's stroking your face as i'm talking to you so pay attention to what's going on there you might feel a little tickle you might feel a little itch going on but she is right there with you right there with you always next um cheryl is on hi cheryl and she says rosemary what do our loved ones do in the spirit world does god give them assignments yes they do lots of different things, and we can choose. We can choose to travel. We can choose to visit our loved ones who, are who we left behind. We can uh, choose to go to classes. We can choose to learn. There's a story in one of my books. I don't remember which one. It's, what, which book it is now, but it's called uh, Picking Daisies, and I might tell that story another time if you can make a little note of the story Picking Daisies, and it's about... Um, uh, uh, someone who actually uh, passed and um, uh, their choice was to help the angels to help all of the little children who passed, all of those children that we lose and um, uh, they're like, um, they're referred to as, it's almost like these little tiny flowers that are coming from the earth, our, our children, our little children who, who pass from this earth of ours from this world of ours into the spirit world and um the the uh, angels say that they like to go out and pick these beautiful little daisies uh because these children need careful handling and they need to be lifted gently out of the earth and taken to uh, a safe place um and there are those in the spirit world who choose to help the angels to lift these children to take them to a safe place because it's a big job you know our angels have so much to do. So there are lots and lots of things that we can do once we've passed into the spirit world. Next. Okay, from a different Cheryl. 
Yeah. It says, good Saturday, Rosemary. <laughs> Do I have a specific soul helper? I have been floundering around trying to experience all kinds of things, but never seems to settle on any one thing. Yeah, it's called uh, Jack of All Trades and Master of None. You need to look for someone. You need to look for a good teacher who can help you and guide you and stop with all the stuff, all the peripheral stuff. You know, uh, the, the you know when you see somebody advertising, I do tarot cards and I do crystal balls and I do this and this and so on. Red flags, red flags up there. Don't 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 go into all of it. Pick something that is good for you. Pick something that is right for you. I think that healing is right for you. I think that if you really wanted to, you could be a very fine healer. Your choice, of course, but that's what I think. And I think that once you start down that one track and you focus on that one track and you find somebody somebody who's good, somebody who you can trust, who can help you and guide you with that, once you find that, that's when you'll find your path. But you need to stop. Uh, you know, people say to me, some people who, you know, they don't agree with all of this stuff, they'll say, you shouldn't dabble. And, uh, and I take great offense when people accuse me of dabbling because I actually don't dabble. This is my life's work. It's been my life's work for 40 years or something. Uh, you don't, I don't dabble. I focus and I concentrate and I, but I stick to, you know, what is right and what I know. And uh, that's what you need to do, my darling. Just stick to stick to the one thing that really grabs your attention and that you find interesting. Uh, I, if I were, if if you lived any closer to me, I'd say, hey, you know, I'll be your teacher. I'll teach you how to uh, how to develop your healing abilities. Uh, if you are interested, you can go on our online. Um, shows and uh, we're going to do these online seminars and uh, so i'll be helping in that way too so uh if you want to email me rosemary at rosemaryoutair.com and uh say that you, <coughs> you know you want to know more about stuff i want to just all you have to do is say i want to be put on the mailing list and then you'll get all the information and uh we'll send it all to you on a regular basis but please don't think that we're in going to inundate you because we're not you'll get probably uh, maybe four or five emails a month. Okay. Anything else going on? Here is Miss Ellis's. She said you told her to get out there in a personal level, along with finding work. Yeah. Her mom passed away in 2017, and she wants to know if her mom is playing a part in this because she's oh. not a bar person. She is a park person or a bookstore person, and today she feels like crying. Oh, darling, don't don't get upset. I'm not suggesting you go to the bars. I'm not suggesting you go dancing. I mean, there are so many places that you can go to. There are choirs that you can join. There are drama uh, groups that you can join. Go to your local theater and ask if you can volunteer. Uh, go to the local children's hospital. That's where I would go. I would head foot over there. Go to the local hospital or children's hospital. If you are a reader or a, or a person in the park you might find if you go to a hospital there are people or patients in there who are desperate for someone to sit and read to them uh, you could do that I'm not suggesting go out live it up I'm saying get yourself out amongst people but people who are like-minded and um, I'm going to mention the choir again so you know so you know go out and join organizations that work for you my darling don't don't cry you can do this, but, uh, you know, to make sure that when I, you know, when I say to you, get out there, I'm not talking about going and living it up in a bar. And so that, that, that's the last thing I would suggest anybody do anyway, because, you know, well, it is, you know, but whatever you want to do, whatever is good for you. And if you are a reader, go to your closest hospital, old folks home, children's home. There's a trillion places that you can go and just volunteer an hour of your time once a week and get out there and meet other volunteers meet the nurses and the doctors in these places you know just go and be social in a way that is right for you yeah michelle you may not be able to volunteer right now because of all the pandemic stuff well, you know, you, but, that well, that's down. true, but, you know, you can volunteer online, you can go online, you can connect with people on Facebook. There are lots of organizations. Personally, I would go to the Sally Army and say, 
that's the Salvation Army, for those of you who don't know. This, I go to the Sally Army and say, I want to volunteer. Well, you know, what can I volunteer for? But you can volunteer. There are lots and lots of lonely people who, uh, you know, who, who, you know, you can go online and you can be a reader. You can be a reader of books. A friend of mine goes into a school once a week and reads to the children in schools. Tons of different things that you can find to do. So try try that. Don't cry, my darling. Just get on, get off your butt, and do something. Okay. Next, keep going. Just as we've sort of, I feel as if we should go a little bit longer because we messed up. Do we have any other questions, Michelle? Anything else going on? Um, Robbie would like to know: Are there any messages for me from your spirit guide? He calls him Gregor, but I think he means Gray Eagle. Uh, yeah, my spirit guy's name is Gray Eagle. Uh, and uh, uh, um, I was going to say no, but actually keep doing what you're doing, whatever that is, keep doing what you're doing. So moving on to the next one, um, we are running out of time. So if my answers are a little bit short, it's because we are running out of time. We are actually over time, but because we had all these uh, glitches earlier on, we're giving you a little bit more time. but. Anything else, Michelle? Catherine. Morning, Catherine. Says, Hi, Rosemary. I have an operation coming up. And is my son, Sam, who passed not long, not too long ago around at the moment, and will he be there? Absolutely. Anyway? Without a doubt. Uh, and uh, we'd, we'll put your name on our healing book, and we shall send you healing. Please let us know how you get on, would you? And without a doubt, uh, your loved ones in the spirit world, and that one special loved one in the spirit world, without a doubt, uh, apparently will be there holding your hand every step of the way. That's what Gregor tells me. <laughs> so that's <laughs> good to know. Um, the next one I have is Jude. Morning, Jude. And he says, can you feel my dad who recently passed in difficult circumstances? Well, not so much. So when when you say difficult, Gregor tells me there's an awful lot of trauma around his passing, and still trauma around the family too. That would take far longer than we have. But if you'd like to email me, darling, and uh, I'll have a look and see if we could sort of send you a message that way, uh, so I can give it a little bit more uh, thought. So that would be Rosemary RosemaryOutair.com, and I'll do my best to see if I can help you a little bit with that. But um, I think uh, that the trauma that's going on around the family is probably, I, I think I think your dad is fine. I think the trauma around the family and around your own self is, is sort of uh, needs to be addressed a little bit. Uh, anything else, Michelle? Brenda said, great seeing you, Rosemary. You look wonderful. Thank you for everything that you do. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thanks, Brenda. Amy said, this is such a powerful platform. I know that many of these messages were sent for my ears to hear, even when I didn't ask the questions. I'm so glad you said that, Amy, because let me tell you, when, when I'm working with people, whether it's a group in a, in a hall, on a physical level, wherever it is, when people come from the spirit world to give messages, to let's say they give messages to that, you know, the, 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 the woman in the red sweater, say, uh, so many of the messages don't just apply to that one person; they apply to so many others in the audience. So, I'm glad that you I'm glad that you are, are listening, and I'm glad that you you see that. That's brilliant. She also said that the spirit world is perfection, and she'd like to know if there's a new love interest in her life coming soon. Mm, not as soon as you'd like, but yes, coming. Don't worry, you'll get there. <laughs> Um, then we have Joy. Morning, Joy. Says, hello, Rosemary. I was wondering if Gregel had any messages for me. Oh, uh, okay. I, as much as I love these questions, we are closing. We are sort of shutting down a little bit. So we want some specific questions. And uh, actually, I was just going to move on. And Gregel says, I have a message for all of them, all of you out there. And he said this so many times, your world needs gentleness. And for, for you, Joy, could you learn to be a little bit more gentle with your own self, 
please, you'll find yourself an awful lot happier if you are giving to your own self and gentle on your own self. So they, he's also going to say no, but there you have it. Yeah. Okay. Sheila has another question. Is it okay if we ask? Yes. Okay. She said, what do you think about my generation now being so influenced by the media? which in turn affects our body image and perception of certain things. I don't think a lot about it. Uh, what that means, I know, let me rephrase. It's a good question, Sheila. I think it's awful. Uh, we are going to address this in next week's story time because I'm going to be talking about how the power of the mind, the power of the media, the power of other people, how other people's energy can affect your own if you allow it. And I'm going to be telling a story of how somebody really went completely like way over the top to influence through um, through a sort of voodoo. And um, actually, as I tell the story, it occurs to me that actually somebody tried to do that to me too. Uh, took a photo of me to, uh, to a woman who, I'll tell you that next week, but that's uh, a good question. Uh, Sheila, and, it, and it's about how we, not even realizing it very often, how we allow other people to influence us and how we allow other people to create fear and havoc and uh, and so on within our own lives. And it seems that in this time with young people easily being able to reach the internet and easily being able to get news from all over the world and, and, how, and how we have to be on our guard against being influenced by those scaremongers that are out there and those people who just want to disrupt and destroy. So we'll talk about that. Sheila, join us next uh, Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and uh, we'll, um, we'll make sure that uh, we talk about that. But that's a really good question, my love. One last question and yep. then we're going to call it quits today. Yeah, we have to. We have to. We have to eat. We have to. I don't know what, Michelle, you have to go back to your husband, don't you? I so. do. I have to see him today. <laughs> Carmine. And I have to make some pate, and I have to make uh, some... Yeah, that uh, means I get pate next week. Shortbread what? <laughs> I said, yeah, that means I get pate next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made a lot of pate a week ago, and we've eaten it all with Michelle, Michelle's husband, <laughs> and me, I love. Uh, I make the best of pate ever. Keep going. Sorry, Michelle. Okay. Carmini says, <laughs> but, yeah. Rosemary, thank you so much for being there for us. I just wanted to know if I have any personal angels or guides or loved ones who are with me. Okay. That's a good note to end on. Uh, we all of us have our loved ones. We all of us have our angels, uh, those who uh, bring us to this earth, which usually they do and those angels who watch us who guide over us uh, uh, who sorry who guide us who watch over us uh, and um, we have a variety of angels all of us through our lives coming and going and helping and guiding us and steering us bringing us to the light and we all of us have our angels who lift us very carefully I mentioned the uh, the picking daisies story I mentioned how those uh, same angels there are certain angels who will go to our field, this earth of ours, and lift those small children they call little flowers, tiny daisies. They lift them carefully from the earth and bring them to God and bring them to the light. And uh, that's a whole other story. Uh, but we all of us have our angels who help to guide us and to steer us and to carry us. Uh, to carry us home, as uh, our angels say. And we also have our loved ones in the spirit world, our family, our friends who also want to help and steer and guide us. The trick is we have to listen to them. That's the trick. Anything else before we... Michelle. Okay. All right. So next week, yes, I've already said, I'm going to talk about uh, the power of the mind I'm going to tell you a story next week uh, which is um, a, a very odd story uh, we've seen it on the movies we've uh, some of us have experienced it in life we know that uh, evil can influence us and we know that influences and we know that bad people can influence us 
Um, when you mention the word voodoo, you know, people start to get shivers because we watched all these weird, scary movies. Holly, it's called a Hollywood thing. Actually, voodoo is a wonderful religion, um, very special and not at all scary. However, like anything else, like Catholicism, like uh, Buddhism, like uh, uh, the Methodists, any any preacher, any priest, any uh, any um, pastor, anything, anybody can misuse uh, the word of God. They can misuse their faith. They can use it adversely. And those of us who allow it, uh, you know, they can misuse or guide us in, in such a wrong way, in such a wrong, wrong way. So, you know, so I'm going to be telling a story about that, about two ladies who came to see me a few years ago, one of them very concerned about her son because he'd had a spell put on him. Now, did he really? Really? Is it possible? Is it actually possible? I can tell you that it is. Um, Gregor tells me that it is. Uh, I, we have emails all the time, don't we, Michelle, from people all who say time. that, you know, they have negative influence about them. What can they do? So our story is going to be about that, and we're going to be talking about what we can do to stop that from happening. Uh, the same thing is happening in the world today. The media, the, you know, the people who are the scaremongers, and they influence us adversely. But they can only do it if we allow them to do it. So I'm going to tell you that story next week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. I love the fact that you join in. I love the fact that I can get to us answer your questions. I'm sorry about the glitch again, uh, but hey, we'll, we, we'll try and fix it. Um, and um, in the meantime, so if you want to know more about me, email me rosemary at rosemaryartair.com. If you want to know more about consultations, the books that I have, the CD, uh, the uh, meditations, uh, the guided meditations. If you want to know more about our upcoming workshops and uh, events that we're planning, the first one being October. So if you want to know, you can email us and say, please put me on the list. Let me know uh, all about it when it's happening. Uh, it, whatever you want to know, whether it's healing, whether it's anything or anything else I've not mentioned, no. Just anything you want to know, email anything, us. Anything you want to know. Uh, email us rosemary at rosemary Altea. you must ask to be put on the mailing list if you would like to first to notify you of what's going on and what's happening uh and in the meantime uh, i shall see you here again next saturday hopefully hopefully you'll join me with no glitches we hope uh um we shall be here at 11 a.m eastern standard time as usual for another story time and also uh you can see me on thursday mornings uh, again streaming so YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, wherever it is we are, you can see us 11 a.m. Uh, for The Spirit World Sees All, which is another round of uh, questions and answers and stuff like that. So join us 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday and next week. In the meantime, until I see you again, please, 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 all of you, have a very, very blessed rest of the day. And please, can you all have a very blessed, happy, wonderful, kind, gentle, loving weekend with whoever you are with? And Reese and Samantha, I love you, my darlings. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>